guys, today we are doing our November favorites. It went by so fast. Last time we filmed our October favorites, I felt like it wasn't that long ago, but it was. It was a month ago. <laughs> and so now we are bringing or giving you our November favorites. <laughs> November favorites. Okay, so just stay tuned. This is going to be a good one. I really, really like it. Well, at least the things that I have. So, yes, just keep watching. Okay, so I have only a few, but the few that I do have are really, truly my favorites. So the first one is from Too Faced, and it's this. It's the Hangover RX. It's a primer, and it says it's with coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics. So it smells like it has a slight scent of coconut water, and I don't use it as a primer. I mostly use it as a moisturizer because usually in the morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is wash my face, moisturize, and by the time I apply makeup, it's probably three, four hours later. So I still want to hydrate my face, so I'll use this, and it just makes the makeup stick on so much more better and longer. So definitely give this a try. Okay, and my first one is a really, really big one. It is the Too Faced uh, Everything Nice palette. Looks like this. I want that. Is this like a holiday? Yeah, it's a holiday kit or a palette. Yes, and it's so, so good. So let me show you what's inside. I used this in our uh, previous video. It's, so it looks like this. It has everything in it. So it has all like the neutral colors. It even has some of like blushes. No, like <laughs> these colors right here. Oh, like the brighter colors. Yeah, some colors I probably don't use, but I'll probably will use later on. And it has like a really, really pink blush right here. This one, and then I use this one. I'm starting to use this one a lot. What is it called? Papa, Papa Don't Peach. And then I use this, the inner light to highlight. Uh, I use the cho Chocolate Soleil to contour now. And I haven't used the Sweet Pink yet, just because I feel like it's a little bit more for the lighter skin tone. I probably will use it. I'm just a little scared to use it now. And it also comes with three brushes right here. It only shows two. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try to look for the other one right now. But very, very awesome palette. That, it, it was only $56, yes, for all of this. And it's so, so good. It's, I think, to me personally, I don't have the Naked palettes, but it's a good investment for $56, just because the Naked palettes are like 50, what? They're around the same price. Yeah, and this has way more things. And it's pretty big. I don't know if it looks as big on camera, but it is very, very big. So yes, definitely invest in this this holiday season at your local Sephora. I don't know if they carry it at Ulta or not, but yes, go check it out before they're sold out. They're probably sold out this minute, <laughs> this second that I'm talking to you, but yes, go look for it, even online. Go, go, go. Okay. So my next favorite, which I used, I believe, in one of our tutorials. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but, or on a favorites video, but it's the Girl Lactic Matte Lip Balm, and it's in the color Demure, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips, and it's just a matte, super uh, pigmented lip paint. You can see it right here on my lips. Just super pretty for every day, and super easy to apply. It doesn't stick. It's just perfect. So yeah, Girl Actic in the color Demure. Okay, and my next item is like a bra or a top. I use it as a top. It probably is a bra, but here it is. It's kind of like a sheer. I don't know if the camera picks that it's up. It's like a bikini um, material. So it's like see-through from this area, dark from the middle, and see-through again from the bottom. And I use it as a crop top for the winter. I don't I don't think I even have that many black crop tops. That's why I got this one. And it goes really good with high-waisted pants, high-waisted skirts, anything. Yes, from Forever 21. It was only $8, so yes, definitely yeah. check this out. And it's in the <laughs> it's in the lingerie in, in what is it, intimate section? Yes. So I got it online, so check it out. Okay, my next favorite which I got as a sample from Sephora. Um, it's the Tarte Lashes, no, Tarte, Light, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. 
And when I first opened it, or I, I, I think she actually opened it first, the brush kind of gives it a bad like, reputation. <laughs> yeah. But it really is such a good mascara, and I think I'm almost out of it, but it gives your lashes so much length and volume all in one. Um, so I want to get the full size of this. So again, Tarte Flight Camera Lashes. Try it out. And my next item is fall slash winter boots. I'll be honest, the only reason I got them was because the girl from R5 wears these. <laughs> and they're they're so comfortable. I've never tried on a heel that is as comfortable as this one that I'm about to show you right now. Trust me, these are probably more comfortable than flats. So, and they look like this. They're like a rocker kind of material. So there you go. How it looks like in the front they have like this elastic material right over here super super comfortable i cannot like i'm not a heel person at all and like me telling you this <laughs> <laughs> me telling you this like seriously it's i don't know like the best thing ever and it has like little what is it waterproof it's like the slip resistant bottom yeah so you can wear these to work if you want to <laughs> <You're gonna laughs> <wear them. laughs> Yes, so yes, Forever 21 as well. I think they were like 30, 20, 20 something, high 20s. Very, very pretty. I really, really like them. Super comfortable. Go get them now. Okay, my next favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation. I had, and my Holy Grail foundation has been the Estee Lauder Double Wear Regular Formula Foundation, but I feel like I couldn't find the right shade to match my neck, and it was such a hassle because I had to mix two different colors and it was just a hassle. So I went into Estee Lauder to the counter and they suggested the Double Wear Light, which is a lighter coverage, but it still gives you a super full coverage in my opinion. And the shade matches my neck perfectly. And this is in the shade 3.0. They don't have as many as the regular Estee Lauder, but this one happened to match just perfectly. And I find that it gives a little bit less coverage, but I don't mind that just for everyday wear. I love this, so my new fave. Okay, and my next product is like a Christmassy item. I know it's a little early to be November favorites, but they already started selling them at Disneyland and I could not resist my urge to buy them. So, yes, and they are... And them. she got them right right on time, right? or... No. <laughs> not yet. These are my mini ears. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I wanted them since last year, but I don't know. I just never got around to buying them last year. So green sequin with the blue, I mean red sequin bow, and it also has a mistletoe. I no never noticed the mistletoe on it because the bow is always hiding it. Maybe it's new this year. <laughs> yeah, so. Yes, they're so pretty. I think they're 19? Yeah, and then I get my annual pass discount, which it turned out to be like 18, maybe 17. So yes, I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the video. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you'll see a sparkling thing. Okay. And my next favorite is a brush, and it is from MAC. It is a 217 brush. Right when I purchased the brush from, I believe it was Sigma, the E40, um, I wanted a different brush just because the Sigma E40 is a longer uh, tapered blending brush, and this one is more, <laughs> this one is more um, like small, denser brush, and it just gets just in the crease, and it gets everything blended out so perfectly. I love this brush. I don't know how I blended without it before. So MAC 217 brush. I believe Sigma does have like an exact same brush. I don't know if it works the same, but yeah, MAC 217. Okay, and this item over here is also a Disneyland item. This is what she was talking about right now. And it is these Christmas light necklaces. Oh my God, you guys. Like, look at that. Light them up. Oh, oh you grab my hair. So, it goes in like several different speeds. I don't know if the camera picks that up a little bit. And then, it's like, and then, and then, and then my favorite, which is, you know, not that one. They're all lit up, but I don't know if you can tell. Um, it was only $10 when I purchased them. But this last time we went to Disneyland, they upped the price. 
by $5. So it's now $15 to get these. So I suggest you get them now. If you do have an annual pass, get them now before they put the prices even higher. Um, and they are, they do have like a guarantee. So if like one of them doesn't work or, you know, the lights go out, they will, uh, what is it? Replace. They will replace the yeah, necklace, necklace. Yeah, for a new one. And I think that's so good because it does kind of look like a cheapy material to be honest, but it's so pretty. Everyone's wearing them right now for the holidays. I think I'm gonna wear this like the whole month of December. I'll wear it to school. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so these lights. Fave. Okay, so my last favorites are the Lorac Pro palettes. I found myself using these um, a lot this month. I originally got gifted this first instead of the first one. So this is the second, this is the first. And to be honest, I think I like the second one better, even though they are cooler toned um, shadows. Hold this. I'll compare them. So these are the shadows. And normally I feel like I would prefer this over that, but I feel like these shadows here are so similar that they could have just like all of these, I know they're matte colors, but specifically these two, I feel like they're too light for pretty much anything, not even as a highlight. So, I mean, and I definitely do enjoy this, and I enjoy all the bottom colors and some of the top, but I feel like I prefer the second one better. They are my favorites. I would suggest if you're going to purchase a palette between these or the Naked palettes, I would say go with either one of these because the Naked palette is the first one is beautiful but it's just all mostly all shimmer colors i think there's like two mattes and this gives you um the top row full mattes and the bottom full fully shimmers so yeah definitely recommend getting this instead of the naked palette the naked palette is beautiful but this is much more versatile okay and i also want to mention uh the smashbox full exposure palette it's my first nude high-end palette and it looks like this and it also comes with a brush let me tell you that brush is really good it looks like this so it has a blending brush right here and then on this side it has like a flat a flat brush yeah it's a like a shader brush but it's cute <laughs> it has two different colors no well that's the thing uh, the dark side is for the shimmer and this white side right here is for the matte colors because on the top it has uh, the shimmers and on the bottom it has all the matte colors so you won't like have to like keep wiping it through because you know how the glitter gets all over once it's on you yes so I really really I, I think I kind of like the brush better than the actual palette. The palette's really good don't get me wrong but the brushes are really good maybe because I don't own as much high-end um, brushes as I should, but yes, this is what it looks like. It comes with all the neutral colors and the blacks over here as well. So, yes, that is our no.